The letters were sent to the archive. It was their job to post them. When you were sent to a lunatic asylum, you lost the right to possess anything. Everything you arrived with was packed up and stored here, even the clothes you were wearing. In case you were released one day, but far too many never left.
must be a file with my name in the filing cabinet somewhere. Dear Mother, please, I beg you, get me out of this place. I'm so frightened here. You were right. I know I was wrong. I understand. I'm so ashamed. If only you knew how much. But now I'll behave myself, I promise. Now things will be fine. I'll work hard. I'll be very good. Your daughter, Renee. This letter. It was Renee's letter. Just as she wrote it back then. But it was never sent. Why? Why did this happen? I received your letter, Mom. You tell me to be patient and strong, while I only feel fear and pain. And you don't write to me any more. If only these words could be my soul, I'd tell you what was happening to me. The kids want to kill me. They all look the other way and tell me what to do. I don't understand. She helps me, but what have they done to her? Can you tell me? Will you help me? Renee. Montefoscoli. July 7th, 1940. My dear daughter, I have received no news from you. You have not contacted me in months. I'm sorry, but I don't have the money to come and visit you. Do you remember Mr. Onofrio? He'll soon be in Volterra for business. I've asked him if he would be kind enough to ask the director for some news about you. I hope he'll bring me some good news when he returns. But please write to me. I know that I was strict with you. You have to forgive me. I didn't think. I've given Mr. Onofrio a new doll for you. You told me that you lost yours, and I know you loved it so much. It's not as nice as your Charlotte, but I hope that it will comfort you nonetheless. Keep your chin up, darling. Everything will be fine, you'll see. Mom. Montefoscoli, October 12th, 1940. My dear daughter, I've written two letters to you and have received no reply. Every day I'm anxiously waiting for a letter. Mr. Onofrio's back. He brought you the doll. Do you like it? He told me he was unable to speak to the director, but managed to see you. I pray for you every day. Even Don Gino said a prayer for you during Sunday Mass. Isn't that nice? I've made up my mind, Rene. I'm bringing you home. I've already written to the director. I told him that I'll take care of you. I'm not very well at the moment and can't work, but I'll get better soon, you'll see. And as soon as I can make the journey, I'll come and fetch you. I know you're suffering a lot. But please be strong, I beg you. Mom will come to fetch Renee, won't she? Mom is good, but she's not well. That's why that man came. The doll. Renee could have played with it while she was waiting for her to arrive, but Renee didn't have it with her. Is it one of Mom's lies? She knew that she'd hurt Renee and. No, no, Mommy's good. That man brought it. We've just remembered who he is, haven't we? It was Renee who was wrong. The doll's here. I know that for sure. Perhaps she's been abducted like all the others and is locked up here somewhere.
Now we can open the bundle on that table in front of the window. 